So in this video, we are going to see the difference between a get and post method, using of get and post method. So the previous video, we have seen uh, using of get method. So anyway, I'll just uh, brush up your memory. We have used form uh, where we have used get method and we redirected to the file name called phptext.php. And this is nothing but phptext.html. So what is your name? Then we have uh, given, a, uh, that is by using this type equal text, a text box is created, and then a submit button is created. So whatever the user entered, that will be uh, placed in this variable called unit. And the data is sent to this file. Now in php.php, we just uh, print it on the screen. So this will be again sent to the browser only. So now, but this uh, browser HTML file and here, but you have to store it as a .php. Now we'll see how it gets executed. First you have to execute HTML because there only we are getting the info. So when you execute it, it will, uh, what is your name is given outside the input uh, tab. So it is printing as such, plain text, and then we enter some data. Now I give the name, then set. Now, see here, when I press the, see here, when I press this, here yeah, before it is HTML, it opens a browser, uh, again, the answer is coming in there. So it, it the data is passed to that uh, PHP and now it gets executed. See here, uh, if you see the URL, you can see the URL, PHP text.php. So which file is getting executed after the question mark. So after question mark follows the variables. So what is the variable that you are doing? You name is the variable. And what is the data which you are passing? This name, Radha. And here it prints. Uh, thanks for answering Radha. So which is nothing but we have given here. Thanks for answering. And then within the script, the PHP script, we echo that. So when you use a get method, here also you have to use the get variable. Instead, that is another one you can use uh, called a request, but we'll see that later. Now suppose, uh, so what happens here, uh, whatever the user entered there, that also will be displayed. So let me show you one more thing here. Input password control. Input name equal to pass. And type equal to password. So whatever uh, the user types will not be visible. It will give some characters only. So let us use this. And then this is in the PA. Uh, HTML and we are going to print it here. Just there is no need for printing, but just I'll uh, show you how it gets executed. Okay, now when you execute this statement, see here. Now, what is your name? Some mistakes I have made, I think. In HTML. Okay. Yeah. See, it is not visible. Now it is uh, printed here. Yeah. But if you see this uh, URL, you name okay, but what about the password? That is also visible there. So anyone who tries to cast this, uh, cast the data in the URL, uh, it is easy for them to find out what the user has entered. Since the day, whatever is entered by the user in the form, it is uh, coming in the URL also, which is not safe. So anyone who wants to send secure data should not use the get method. So now how to send the data securely? So here instead of get, you can use post method. 
so same since we have used post here also you have to change it as post you should not use get now we'll see how it gets executed then yeah Here, because of the sprinting echo, it has come. But if you see in the URL, only the name of the file is there. There is no, whatever the user has entered is not coming here. So, post is a secured method. Uh, as you know, in URL, the data entered by the user is not visible. Now, you can use another one called uh, request here. Uh, whether it is a get method or post method, you can use request. This is another uh, PHP variable which can be used irrespective whether the user has used uh, get or post. Now we'll see. Some, uh, some variable has been set, so that is not coming. But still, as I have used in HTML get post method, here it's not coming, but uh, dollar request I have used only in the PHP. So from PHP side, it is printing that. 